That's not A. Um, what's my B value going to be? B is going to be true. So A is not A, B, and C. Okay? Now let's do this one here. What's my don't care condition? D. So this would be um, A, not B, and um, C. And now I can either pick this or I can pick that to get this value. That's the only one I have left, right? So I'm going to just pick this way, arbitrarily. It doesn't matter. Okay? And so picking that way, my don't care condition is A. So I'd have B, and let's see, that would be C, not D. Right? And now I have a much simpler term than that to start with. And I can simplify this algebraically if I want to. I may be able to find something I could factor out. I could group the not A's together and factor out a not A, right? So if I reorder these to group the not A's together, I get not A, B, not D, or not A, B, C. And then if I, let's see, well, I can't group anything else that matters. I've already grouped out those two. I can do not B, C, I can group the not B's together. All right, so I can have not B, not C, D, or A, not B, C, and then I have this one left, right? B, C, not D. And so now I can group this way, factor a not A out of this, B, not D, or B, C, and factor out a not B from that, not C, D, or A, C, or B, C, not D, okay? So the simplification process, if you go with a Carnot map, you might have a little bit of Boolean algebra to do at the end to get to the most simple circuit possible. I don't know that I can do anything else. B or not B, B, C, I can factor a B out of that, right? So I can say not A, B, not D, or C, or can I factor anything out of that? No. Not B, not C, D, or A, C, or B, C, not D. And then drawing the circuit to do that is not hard by comparison. I could get to that doing an algebra from this. When you take discrete math, you probably will. <laughs> you will do the algebra all the way down to there and determine what it is. And it'll take you two pages of algebra and you'll be really annoyed at the end of it. Um, starting with the Carnot map, it's a lot quicker. All right? Let me do Right, I'm deliberately building one which is rectangular with squares in it. Okay. Now, it turns out, I could start with a truth table like this, but because I have squares instead of just twos, I can group all four together. Right? Make sense? So this would be what? What are my don't care conditions here? I don't care about B and I don't care about D. Right? So I can end up with this being um, A and not D, not C. Or this one was my don't care conditions. I don't care what. D is, and I don't care what uh, B is, right? So this would be um, C or not A. Not A or C. That's what I was hoping you would turn out to be. And so what looks like a complicated circuit if you do it that way it turns out to be a very simple circuit when you get done. 
this basic idea makes sense, that by grouping elements together in a kernel map, we can throw terms away completely, throw out variables when we're writing our terms. Did we say that correctly? We can throw out variables when we're writing our terms. What's a term in algebra? Terms are things that you do what to? As opposed to factors? Terms are things that you add together, and factors are things that you multiply together. And a term could be negative, in which case it's the same as subtracting a positive term. And a factor could be a reciprocal, in which case it's the same as dividing. So terms are added and subtracted, and factors are multiplied and divided. Uh, B, I don't care about A, and I don't care about D, so this is just C. <laughs> right? It's just any time C is on. Oh, C and uh, I do care about it. I'm going to have to do 4 and 4. Because it's going to be C and not A or C and A. Go, what is it going to be? I'm going to have to group it that way and that way to do it. So C, B, or C, C, B, or C, A. Give me that. 